Welcome to the Kistler training program on video, available to all our customers at Kistler.com. This tutorial explains how to correctly install direct pressure sensors for cavity pressure measurements. We show you how to place these types of sensors into a mold using contact elements. After the usual equipment check, you should first consult your mold drawing and check the following that the sensor location is precisely identified, that using contact elements is possible at all, that the cable routing is clearly evident, that the exact connector position is marked. Next, you should use a depth gauge to make sure that bore depths and dimensions in the mold are correct. Then you should clean the bores and the mold surface using pressurized air and afterwards a dry lint cloth. Now you proceed to fitting connectors and contact elements to the tool side cables, which you have crimped before. Make sure you always use the insulation sleeves. Pull well back into the bore. Contact elements come with appropriate special retaining nuts you use them to finish your installation of the tool side contact elements that are thus safely kept in place. Next, you move on to preparing the sensor installation into the tool insert by first adjusting the sensor cable length. Strip the insulation carefully. This is a delicate task. Take your time. You've done it. You finish the sensor cable assembly by adding an insulation sleeve and fitting the sensor side contact element. That's how it should look in the end. Two steps to go. You insert the sensor into the tool insert. You secure it with a length adjusted spacer sleeve, then make sure it's seated correctly. Finally, you put the contact element into its bore in the tool insert and secure it with the special retaining nut and wrench. Remember, the tool or mold has already been equipped. So you can now ease the insert containing sensor and contact element into the tool, where the matching electrical contacts ensure a direct, simple, and flawless sensor signal transmission. It's very important that you identify each cable using numbered markers. Our unique technology allows you to simply cut the cables to length. However, don't cut too tightly. Allow for some slack. Now you can connect the cables to the connector. Our multi-channel connectors come with easy-to-use screw clamps. All you have left to do is carefully arrange the cables, place the connector in the recess, and screw it on. Make sure the cap is installed too. To be sure that the installation was successful, you make use of Kistler's sensor testing equipment. First, you check the insulation. The bar has to be well into the green field. If it's not, insulation is insufficient. The sensor requires service. Finally, you check the sensor's sensitivity. If the indicated value is too low, the sensor is either installed too tightly or it's faulty. If it consistently stays within the recommended range, everything is fine. Congratulations.